Hello guys, welcome to the next video on Node.js tutorial for beginners. In the last video, we have seen how we can use readable streams in Node.js. And we have used this uh, method called create read streams to create an object of read streams. And then we have called this uh, method on uh, this readable stream object, which on data event was, uh, you know, reading a chunk of uh, data from a file which we have created last time yeah and whenever a chunk of uh, file is read then it's going to be used using this uh, variable uh, chunk in this uh, anonymous function right so if you are not sure uh, what i'm talking about just see the last video uh, to be clear now in this video we will uh, see how we can use uh, writable streams in node.js so for example, uh, you have some uh, buffer stream coming from uh, somewhere, for example, uh, from this file itself, we, whatever we read from a big file we have, we have created last time, we want to write this uh, data which we are reading in chunks to another file in chunks. So we are not reading the whole file and then writing to a new file we are reading chunks and also writing chunks so it's not going to block your code okay so let's see how we can create uh, writable streams in node.js now to create a writable streams i'm going to use this uh, code which i have written in the last video to read the file right and now we will create a writable stream so just write uh, var write stream is equal to fs dot create write stream and then uh, we can uh, give the name of the file in which we want to uh, you know send our stream to so for example i can name my file as uh, write file dot txt okay this will be the file in which we want to write our data now to use uh, this uh, write stream is really easy whenever you read this data so here on the data event we are we were reading the data right so in order to write it to a file you can just call this uh, write stream object and then you can call a method called write on it so just simply call a method called write and then it takes a chunk as an argument so you can just pass this argument here and this uh, you know chunk will be written to the write stream object and in turn it will be written to the write file.txt okay so let's run the code and let's see how it works so i'm going to open a terminal and run my code and it has just printed the, these lines which indicates a chunk of data read you can see and then we can see a file is created here with the name write file and it has the same content as our file.txt have okay so this is essentially just uh, writing the chunk of data as it uh, reads the data from a file now in the previous videos we have also seen how we can write the data using the write file function right now the difference between this write stream dot write and uh, the write file function is in the write file function we were just uh, you know flushing all the data which we have in the buffer and it's not uh, you know going to the file in which we want to write chunk by chunk but we uh, were writing it in in a single shot right but using this method you can uh, you know write the data to a file in chunks whenever you have data right so this is the benefit of uh, this uh, method and write streams over the write file method okay so i hope you have enjoyed this video please write comment and subscribe and bye for now